In this movie, I'm going to outline some of the awesome possibilities for working with Machina using the Machina Mark III and Complete Control Mark II, both of which have had huge improvements to the available controls and features in these latest hardware releases. The control keyboard now provides superb control of Machina on its own, with the large screens displaying each area of the software clearly. So whether browsing for new sounds, working in plug-in mode, mixing, or creating patterns, it's easy to see what's going on. There's also a track button here, which you can hold down to bring up the groups in your project, which can be selected either using the buttons or master encoder, with the plus button allowing new groups to be created. And you've now got a key mode button, which toggles between using keys to play all of the sounds in a group, or using the whole keyboard to play different MIDI notes just for the selected sound. With the lights really helping out here, and at the top, there's the Scene button, which is one of the most exciting features and completely unique to the Mark II, so it's what we're going to focus on the most. In this mode, the screens are identical to the software, so we've got our groups running along the bottom, selected by going left and right with the master encoder, or just touching the encoders below, and we've got all of the patterns for groups above, which I can select by rotating the master encoder. And I've got some different scenes already created here, which I can select using the buttons. So to get a new idea down now, I can hit the next scene button, then choose whatever patterns I like. And then restart my project to jam with it. Expanding this further though, let's say I want to get even more variation in my drop section, or maybe improve the transitions from one section to the next. Then what I can do is make use of lock mode, which has now been implemented on the Mark III. If you're new to this, then it's simply a way of locking or creating a snapshot of all project settings, which you can then return to at any point. So it's really useful for performing. For instance, I'll turn it on so the light comes on, and then make some changes like muting some drums, and adding some effects to the bass. And I could go on as much as I want. But then when I hit lock again, it undoes all those changes and returns to the drop in full. And if I hit shift and lock now, I can see what that did was create a snapshot, and I can create a whole load more of these if I want. So staying in plug-in mode, I'll go to the master and add some effects to the master bus. I'll start with filter, which I'll set to high pass, and bring the cutoff and resonance right down so it's not doing anything yet. And then we'll have metaverb in the next slot. And I'll bring the mix down so it's also not having an effect. And I'll hit lock again now so it updates my snapshot with these settings. And now I'll start the project and get the master effects where I want them. Then I'll hit shift and lock, and the next free pad to create a new snapshot with these settings. And then I can jump from one snapshot to the next. What I'll do now though is turn on morphing, and I'll set it to four bars, so I can now morph across four bars from one snapshot to the other. So this will allow a seamless transition from one scene to the next now. Meaning I can go from my breakdown to my drop, not just changing the patterns that are playing, but also all my effect settings too. And all just by pressing a couple of buttons. So with my left hand triggering lock snapshots and scenes, my right hand is free to play a riff of some kind. So I can select the desired group I want to play first. And then show you how I can go smoothly from the drop to breakdown and back again.
so you can see the immense power this setup gives you for performing with Machina. Stay tuned for more Machina tips coming soon.